Hey guys, welcome back to Tech Tuesdays. This is Zeke. I'm going to try to keep this under two minutes. Let's look at the spring and the spring seat locator. Some people call it a shim. We call it a spring seat locator. One point to really, really drive in here and make a, make a big note when you're installing a spring seat locator and a spring to make sure you have a nice press fit on that locator and spring. If you have too much clearance in that area, you'll have too much movement on that spring and you don't want that movement to really occur in that spring pocket with that initial spring. Higher RPMs, for example, engines that run say 8,000, 9,000 RPM, this is more of an issue where that, that spring will chew away that locator and allow that spring to have excessive amount of movement in the spring pocket. You really don't want that. Now, measurements. We want to try to keep these within the single digits. I know valve spring winders sometimes, you know, the tolerances are really high. It's difficult to really get the proper tolerance sometimes on these, these valve springs. We want to keep them in the single digits. You don't want to get a spring seat locator and a valve spring to have that clearance anywhere from say 10 to, to 12 to 15 thousandths. Way too much clearance on that locator spring. So you want to try to keep it in the single digits. The more you keep that tolerance tighter in that area, the less amount of movement that spring will allow itself on that pocket area. Thanks for watching guys. If you like the video, leave us a comment. Till next time.